right, so here we've got the Roland UM1 MK2 USB to MIDI interface cable. So this thing I got new on eBay. Uh, it is an old item though. I mean, you can see Windows 8. I don't know about Mac, but Windows 8 came out in 2012. And it's got a sticker saying, now ready for 2012. <laughs> and that makes sense because most modern music gear, when connecting to a computer, don't use the 5-pin MIDI anymore. They have straight USB out. So this is kind of a relic. So yeah, this thing is brand new. It apparently works with iPads. Uh, it's kind of nice. I was surprised. I looked at the um, the system requirements and it says one gig of RAM. I was shocked to see that. That's kind of a lot. You know, fortunately my laptop, I don't have an issue with that, but I can certainly see how that might be an issue for some people. Okay, so I can see already there's a, a CD in there. Probably has drivers. It'll be interesting to see if there's any sort of utilities. Uh, maybe this isn't as new as they claimed it was. I don't think... It looks like it's mostly new. I guess we'll... see about the, uh, the CD. If the CD is open, that will be another sign. And they tell you not to pull on the cable, <laughs> uh, except there's really no way to get this out unless you pull on the cable. So, uh, fail on the packaging. Let's so try to push it up. There you go. Well, that was no fun, but it's done. So I'm just going to go ahead and Plug this into the, in this case, a Roland TD-10 percussion sound module. Okay, says MIDI out on this one. I'm going to go ahead and assume that that is MIDI in. And then this will go to the laptop. So I'm going to turn it on first. Maybe read through the manual. I'm that kind of guy. Uh, I'll see what's on the CD also, and then uh, be right back. Okay, so I read the manual and checked out what was on the CD. And um, the CD only had the drivers and the uh, electronic version of the manual. So the drivers are for Windows XP 7 and 8. On the Roland site, there are drivers for up to Mac OS 11. You know, so I'm running Windows 10, so I went to the Roland site and looked for the updated drivers, and they said you don't need a driver for Windows 10, that Windows has it already built in. So that's nice. Uh, the other thing I did notice uh, from the manual, interesting items, are these LEDs here that will light up. This one will let you know if the computer connection is working. This one will tell you if the MIDI in is receiving data or if the MIDI out is sending data. So these are worth the price of admission alone. Uh, if your cable does not have these things, it will be a lot harder to troubleshoot when something isn't working. So that is very valuable. So this particular cable can be used with tablets or computers. So there's a little switch here and I think my cable must be the switch must have broken off because I had to 
and get this tiny screwdriver to get in there to, to move it to computer. So I think the cable I got was not new like they said it was. Uh, it was probably broken and then returned, but um, we'll see if it still works. I'm pretty sure that it will. So here's the USB. I'm going to plug it into the laptop and you'll see eventually the light will come on. There we go. And sure enough, the computer light is on. So communication with the laptop is working just fine. Now if I turn on my TD10, there we go. There's a MIDI in light coming on. So I'm not exactly sure why it's lighting up, but it's at least an indication to me that the connections are working. So all's good.